Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian, and welcome back to a brand new video on the Source Code channel. This is episode 9 of the Fuji.js tutorial series, and in this episode I'll be explaining how you can use View Router with Fuji.js to create multiple pages for your application. So Vue Router is the official router for Vue.js. It allows you to create different pages for different sections. So for instance, you might want a profile page, which has several components and then Twitter section where you can see all the tweets that people posted and then a uh, information section. You can do all that stuff. And what's really cool is that it will actually give you links that you can share so other people can go to the same site. So you don't have to click to get somewhere. And it's still the same as with Vue.js. It's all on one page. So you don't need to reload any page. It will just swap out components. So let's just get right into it. So to begin, we want to initiate our project. So to do that, we say view init webpack. And we will say current directory. And then we give the name view, give a project description, a author, runtime plus compiler. And then right here, we need to say yes, because we want to install view router. And it's really cool because it will just, it will ask you if you want it as soon as you initialize the project. We want to use slint with the Airbnb rules, no unit test, no end to end, blah, blah, blah. And we want to use npm and I will get back to you when it's done downloading. All right. So now that our files have downloaded, we can run npm run dev and it will just start our server again and then we can start creating some stuff. So I am going to open my page and we can see that we still have a default landing page. So when we go to our folder, we can see that there's a new folder right here. It's called a router and the router folder has a index.js file and that file actually contains the rules that it needs to use for routing. So what you can see right here is that we import uh, hello world from at slash component slash hello world. And that basically means this file and you might get confused by this edit bit, but it basically refers to the source folder and then slash component slash hello world. So we tell you to use router and that will just place this part of a uh, view inside of what view needs to do so that it can handle a couple of things and change a lot. So then finally, what it says right here is export default new router. And this exports the router object that uh, uh, will be used for our rules. And you can see that there's a routes array inside of here with an object. And that object contains path slash name hello world and component hello world. And a path basically means the path that the URL has. So in this case, we see slash hashtag slash. And in this case, the path is the slash. So what it will do is it will see, oh, we have this path that matches. So we are going to display component hello world. And it will take this component and it will display it on the page. So the first thing I want to do is I want to clear all that's in here. And I want to clear or delete hello world.view. Just get rid of it. And then you need to make sure that index.js is also empty. Just comment that out. We will add this back later. So for this app, I want to create a nav bar, a footer, and then two pages that we want to display. And what's really cool is that the nav bar and the footer will stay the same between the pages and it will actually not even reload, which is really cool. So we're going to say app navbar.view, which is going to be just a normal view template. 
And for now, I just want to put a div inside of here, which has a, um, a uh, let's just change this to be nav. A nav with a nav bar. And then we want to create a component uh, nav or app footer dot view. And then we can do footer and then uh, copyright and copy for 2019. And we don't need anything else. We are just going to use two simple components, which will just display a footer and a nav bar. All we can do now is we can just import these files like usual. So say import app nav bar from dot slash components slash app nav bar. And then import app footer from the other place. And then we can say components, which is an array of, or an object of app navbar and app footer. So we just import it like usual. And then over here we can create app navbar and app footer. Now, when we go back to our site, we can see that it will just display navbar and copyright 2019. So that is just the normal templates that we put in here. And this isn't any different from view without view router, but now I'm going to show you what you can do with view router. So let's say we want a file called about.view and we give it a template and just put in a diff where we say uh, this is an about page showing you how to use view router. And then I want to create a um, home.view and then put in a diff which will say this is the home page of our application. So these are just two very simple components. Again, it's just a piece of text. So what can we do right now? Well, we want to display the current route that we're on inside of this page. So view router gives you a element which is called router dash view, which you can use to display the current route that you're on. So when we go here and we say, route dash view and we go to the page it won't actually show anything yet and that is because we don't have anything inside of our routes so when we say uh, for slash I want to import home from at slash at slash components slash home and then we want the component to be home, the name to be home, and path to be slash. And when we go to our site right now, we can see that it says this is the home page of our application. And that works because it matches slash with the site that we're on. We are on slash. So that already matches. So it sees that and it knows, ah, I need to render the home component, which is this file right here. This is the home page of our application. And it knows where to display that content because we put a router view inside of here. And what we can actually do is we can put two of them inside of here. You can actually see that it duplicates them. So you can use this multiple times, not really any use for it, but if you want to, you could. So how do we make it so that when we are able to select between home and about, and we can go to the different pages? Well, that's actually very easy. So we want to add a new uh, path here and then call that slash about and then give the name about and the component about. And then we want to import about from 
add slash components slash about and just add a uh, extra enter right there. So whenever the path matches slash about, it will see that it will need to render about. So when we go to our page and we add slash about, we can see that it puts this is an about page showing you how to use view router inside of the content. When we remove it, it will display this is the home page of our application and it doesn't actually reload the page, which is really cool. And you can see that quite easily you can make two different pages. So how do you create a link to a different page? How do we make it so we can click a button and go to about and then back to home and then to about? Well, it's actually quite simple. So Vue has a router link component which you can use and you should use it over an A tag with an href attribute and it lists a couple of reasons right here. It basically allows you to link to a different, uh, different page. And when you go to router.vuejs.org, you can find a whole lot of explanation on why and what attributes it has. And for now, I'll just use the to prop, which takes a string or a location. So when we go to our nav bar, we can say router link. And because I have the language installed for Vue, I can type in router link, press tab, and I will get all this stuff. And we can actually just say slash inside of here. And we need to make sure that it is in quotation marks because it tries to render whatever is between these double quotes as JavaScript. So we need to put extra quotes to make it realize it's a string. And this basically creates our router link component, which links to slash. And when we say home inside of it, it will display like this. So when we click on it, it will take us to slash. So we're already on slash, so it won't do much. But we can use this and change this to about and then change this to slash about. And when we go back, we can click slash about and it will take us to this and about page and home. This is home page and about. And you can see that when we click, it will take us to different pages. And what's really cool is that you can actually press backwards and it will save uh, this state that you were and this is very similar to how you usually make different pages is you load a different page uh, an entirely different html page and it will also store your browser history history so you can go back and forth and back and forth and this does the same thing but without actually reloading the page so you can see that it's really 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 simple to create so you can see that it's really easy to create different pages and dis display different content depending on where you are located so to recap we just have a router index.js file and that file contains a couple of routes so we have a path slash with a name home component home and a path slash about with name about and component about we import those components. Then we have our app, which has a nav bar, a router view and a app footer. App nav bar contains nav bar and then two links to home and about. And then router view displays the content inside of that. So in the next episode, I'll show you how we can use this to display information about, for instance, a user or a search for certain words, or you can change the location through javascript so if you enjoyed this episode be sure to drop a like and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode